In the modern administrative age, administration plays a very significant role by way of enforcing the law and permitting socio-economic welfare of the people. The pattern of administrative relationship between the center and the states therefore assumes a great significance in a developing country like India. The Indian constitution contains more elaborate provisions regarding administrative relations between the center and the states than are to be found in any of the three federations of the USA, Canada and Australia. The constitution lays down a flexible and permissive and not a rigid scheme of allocation of administrative responsibilities between the center and the states. The scheme is so designed as to permit all kinds of cooperative administrative arrangements between the two levels of government. Therefore, cooperation and coordination between the center and the state administrative authorities was thought indispensable. In emergency, the government of India exercises complete control over the state and functions as if it is a unitary government. Now coming to the article 256 to 263 of Indian constitution which provides for union control over states through following ways. First, direction by the union or center to the state governments, delegation of union functions to the states, all India services and grants in aid, 